What's up YouTubers, Adam here. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about the Tahoe Q4 Ski and Fish Package. Now this model that I have right here is a 2013. Absolutely love it. But I've had it for a couple months and it's my personal experience of some of the things that I love about it and of course some of the things that I don't like. Now when I went to go buy this boat, I started YouTubing videos on, um, of course on this boat and I wanted to get reviews of other people. I didn't see too many videos of that, so that's why I'm making this. It was mainly dealerships talking about how great it is, and yes, it is great. I'm not knocking it at one bit at all. But they're going to tell you all the goods about it because they got to make a sale. That's their job. So not only will I tell you the goods that I love about it, but I'm also going to tell you a lot of things that probably could use a little more improvement. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, just drop them down in the box, and I promise I will always get back to you. Hope you enjoy. fish package. Now I wanted to show you while I was sitting here in the garage that it's small enough to fit into a car garage. And as long as you keep it out of the sunlight, you can keep this thing in prestige condition. I just put that up there just for now so I can open up the engine bay for you so you can see there's plenty of room. One of the great things about here, it's got a breakaway tongue so that also helps. Comes with the leather seats. Uh, this piece comes up and there's a pole right here. Seat sits up off here, which it's right there at the moment. But it swivels, so it's all for, for uh, fishing. And it comes with a trolling motor, which is also laying right there, along with an electronic foot pedal. So you to take this off, put the foot pedal right here, you can stand right there and adjust it so you don't ever have to leave. Turn the engine off, your main motor off, and uh, trim up. And you're good to go. Now, this does come with a Merc Cruiser, 135 horsepower. Honestly, I don't think that's enough horsepower for this. We went out water skiing yesterday. Uh, it says eight people maximum on here. We had five, which was including myself. And it took a while to plane. The front stood up for a while. Um, once you get to speed, it's perfect, it's fine. I can get up to 41 miles an hour. Uh, for the most part a little bit faster depending on the weather and how much drag I got or how much weight But uh, once you start going up there as long as you uh, hit your uh, trim two notches, it's perfect So we threw some of the people in the front and water skis perfect. I was up on skis. I haven't tried wakeboarding yet But it does come with a tow hook for water skiing So let me show you some of the things in here. All right now that we're inside here Here's all the gauges that it shows up to. Little wood grain cluster. Looks good. Comes with a fish finder, depth finder. Eight person max capacity. I would not put eight people in here though. Uh, comes with a Jensen radio. It's not the best of quality, but it'll do. And it comes with two speakers in the back. Um, I'm going to put a couple more videos and put uh, some speakers on the sides and some horn tweeters. This comes up, that's where you put your post for your seat and your swivel. I have my anchor electronic foot peg, which goes right here for your trolling motor, which is down there, and there's my seat. But I also use these as a cooler because on each one of them there is a drain, so when the ice melts and the water starts building up, it drains out. You got two cup holders here, two cup holders here, one right under here. Uh, Small glove space right here, a few things. And on the sides, you can see a fire extinguisher, there's all your wiring. Um, you actually have a lot of room even towards the back. So, cup holder there, cup holder there. 
here is your live well for all your bait now this is what I want to talk to you about here's your live well right here you have your auto and your manual switch well if you can see there's all your wiring here so if you're putting a lot of storage in here whatever you're putting back here just mind you that you have to be careful around here because I ended up having to go through it a few times where I snapped it off and then you don't realize until you're out in the water and you got all your bait in there and you kill them because it's not filling up here's your engine compartment you actually have a lot of room in here two batteries one for your boat one for the trolling motor which you have to constantly uh, recharge back up now the post for the seat in the front the swivel seat uh, for fishing it gets clamped right here on these two it's out right now but it's easy to work on now the bimini top comes up over and on the top you can actually unzip it and another piece of cloth drops all the way down to the bottom and what you use it for is a changing room so if you're out on the water and for whatever reason you get soaked maybe it rains on you you need to change dry up you got clothes in there you can change but overall I absolutely love this thing I'm gonna put some neons in here more speakers here's where you put your wakeboard I've got a couple stock or little freshwater fishing poles in there and that's for your lights uh, to mount up on the front and well I guess you can't see because that's up there but the rear and you get the paddle it's actually pretty deep in there if you look. so overall I'm happy with this you need to do some modifications if you really want to enjoy it especially if you're going to go wakeboarding skiing like that and you can do minor adjustments with uh, a stabilizer you can put in the back and maybe a four uh, propeller prop and uh, other than that you should be good to go you got your ladder and we come down here all the time so any questions let me know